Hello, this is Ron Licht with a video demonstration of Sea Wings, the customer work order invoicing system that I built for myself, but I think will work very nicely for any independent consultant. Um, I have tried several times to do videos, but there is so much rich material and functionality that I'm having trouble keeping it short. So this video is just going to be a quick tour of the time tracking part of the system. Here we are looking at the contact screen where we enter the information about the person that is our, our customer, our client, uh, name and address, contact information, etc., and also the rate, uh, the hourly rate that they're paying. Uh, the second part of this screen is the portal that looks into the number of work orders that we've done for this person, and at a glance we can tell uh, what the status is and how much um, uh, the billing was, whether it's in receivable status or open, and by open I mean uh, work has been done but not invoiced. So if I use the uh, FileMaker um, uh, native uh, functionality here to page through the records, we can see that uh, these different customers have uh, uh, different numbers of um, work orders done for them. So I'm going to pick one and um, take a look. Let's take a look at uh, this particular person. Um, we'll just take a look at this work order. Uh, the work order looks different, but it's got a couple of different elements. Um, once again, it recaps who the person is and a little bit of information that defines the work order in terms of its status and its date. But um, the main uh, functionality here is that you can add uh, line items for every activity that you perform for a particular customer for a particular billing cycle. So here we are with a development project. Uh, we've got a short hand uh, type. We've got a top line description of what the activity was. We have the start and end times and we have a second line of description which can be long or short depending on uh, what your habit is with a particular client. Uh, one thing that's interesting here to note is that the times are set up for military time. I wanted to keep the arithmetic as simple as possible. So uh, an afternoon, uh, this is a 240 to a 325 project. It takes a, a fraction of an hour. Uh, I've also got an override field. So if you decide that something is going to be, uh, so let's say you're not going to charge for something, you can always put a zero in. Or if you want to round up, if it's a fraction of an hour and you want to make it uh, to the nearest quarter hour or half hour or full hour, you can type in the difference, uh, or excuse me, the desired number of hours, and it will compute accordingly. So underneath the uh, service item, we have a subtotal, the number of hours worked, and the rate, and an extended amount. And then we have a flat fee section I call adjustment, so we can add a service type and add a flat amount and it'll add to the total and show us what's been um, uh, invoiced and paid. Also speaking of payments, I've also got a section that um, allows us to uh, enter payments. This is the greatest example. Let's take a look at this one. Um, here this person made one payment and paid off the uh, balance in full. You can enter the pay data check number the amount and some notes. So having said all of that, let's take a look at a, a nice meaty work order and take a look at what the invoice looks like. And here it is. A click of a button. It's already pre-formatted with my information, your client information, uh, invoice date and number. And if we prepare for printing, we can see it uh, aligns nicely on the page. If uh, you know, this particular layout doesn't suit you. For example, often there will be service items but no adjustments. I have a one page no adjustments layout, which when ready for print, slides up and uh, takes out the, the empty space. There are other layouts available. <clears throat> one is a two page layout. If, layout. if your line items are so many that they won't fit on a page, you can have a two page layout. Uh, I've also got a three page layout, excuse me, a three line description layout and a retainer layout. That is, if somebody pays you in advance and you want to charge off at a particular rate, uh, we've got a layout set for that. And then finally, we have a manual detail layout. If you don't want to reflect exactly what you did when and for how long, you can type in some text 
uh, of your choosing any length and then when you look at that layout the text will appear instead of the line item details so that's customers work orders and invoices thank you very much for watching